And this part was so heartbreaking. Kafka is literally sacrificing himself for everybody else. And we have no idea what's going to happen to him. Aloha everybody. My name is Lehua and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator and host podcasts across worlds. In today's video, we are going to do a recap slash review on Kaiju number eight, episode 10 secrets revealed the episode opens with a terrifying new threat a colossal kaiju setting its sight on tachika base vice captain hoshina stands as a first line of defense facing the honju class kaiju number 10. honju is usually the biggest and most powerful kaiju and the one who generates and guides all the other yuju yoju through their organs their fortitude level is usually above 6.0. A Honju with a fortitude level of 6.4 would require an entire platoon of defense force soldiers to defeat it, and only a captain or vice captain could defeat one alone. Now, this Honju, Kaiju number 10, I believe it's 9.0. Holy cow! Hoshina is fighting off this Honju with everything he has to the point of overheating his combat suit. This happens when extended use of the combat suit's power can cause overheat, injuring its rarer and causing physical pain to the point of making them bleed due to exhaustion. He, he is so tenacious and fighting to his limits, and we find out why. Through his flashbacks, we delve into Hoshina's backstory. We see his unwavering determination despite being discouraged by his family and the defense force due to his unique fighting style. His family acknowledges that the blade is not comparable to modern technology, and so they're trying to dissuade him from joining the defense force. Then, when he's in the defense force, Yes, they acknowledge his skills. However, they dissuade him also because kaijus are getting bigger and bigger and they don't think his skills are up to par. Notably, a flashback reveals Captain Ashiro acknowledging his skills and forming a powerful bond. Ashiro even says that she lacks blade skills to the point where she doesn't even touch a kitchen knife. Feud by his loyalty and past struggles, Hoshina unleashes his signature sword slay techniques, one through six against Kaiju number 10. Despite landing impressive strikes, the Honju's immense regeneration renders them ineffective. It is gnarly what happens we literally see hoshina causing damage and then it coagulates the injury coagulates like the like something's coming out of it and like it's all these cells from the kaiju healing it and once it's done it disperses then enters Shinomiya, the rising star of the defense force. While her powerful axe attacks cause no lasting damage, she does prove to be crucial in the battle. Which is interesting because Hoshina's blades are smaller. Yet Shinomiya's battle axe isn't causing as much damage compared to him. I'm assuming this is the gap between Shinomiya and Hoshina's power. Hoshina then devises a brilliant strategy. He utilizes his swordmanship to create openings, allowing Shinomiya to exploit the kaiju's vulnerabilities before they re regenerate. This combined effort delivers a devastating blow, crippling kaiju number 10. So what they did was Hoshina would inflict damage. Well, he like create openings be and before they regenerate, Shinomiya would then strike down in those openings. And they did that on the Honju's knee. Now, 
anyone who has had a knee injury or has had any pain in the knee, y'all know what that feels like. You feel like you're crippling. You feel like you can't move at all. So this was perfect. Just when Hoshina buys some precious time, Captain Asha arrives with heavy artillery. Her cannon attack weakens the Honju further, showcasing their impressive teamwork. Hoshina's loyalty prevailed, y'all. It was like he literally held off Kaiju number 10 for Ashiro's arrival. With Kaiju number 10 weakened and its core exposed, the captain can now defeat it. As Captain Ashiro prepares for a final blow, Hoshina selflessly buys her time. He faces the risk of being devoured by Kaiju number 10, demonstrating his unwavering loyalty and commitment. Thankfully, Ashiro's attacks land just in time, saving Hoshina and seemingly defeating the Honju. This calls back to Hoshina's flashback of when Ashiro recruited him, when she said, when it's time for her to shoot her foe, he clears a path for her. And that's literally what he did. Everyone is ecstatic for this victory. Everyone has pushed their limits. They're exhausted. While Hoshina and Shinomiya were weakening Kaiju number 10, everyone else was fulfilling their roles too. Some in the defense force were acting as DPS for Kaiju number 10, distracting it and such, while others were still fending off the wyvern Kaiju. But this celebration is short-lived. A chilling revelation unfolds. We see a mass of kaiju gathering in the sky, seemingly responding to kaiju number 10's final act. This ominous horde transforms into a horrifying bomb. Exhausted and with suits reaching their limits, the defense force faces a seemingly impossible situation. Witnessing the impending disaster, Kafka makes a heart-wrenching decision. He realizes his dream of being a Defense Force soldier might have to be sacrificed for the greater good. In the pivotal moment, Kafka transforms into his kaiju form, revealing himself as kaiju number 8. Hoshina's suspicions are finally confirmed. If you guys remember in previous episodes, Hoshina was looking back on his fight with Kaiju number 8. And he had his observations that it seemed very human-like. Now, during this scene, we see Kafka's heart breaking moments he's saying sorry for every person he has encountered and every person who has helped keep his secret with incredible speed and newfound power kafka propels himself towards the kaiju bomb pushing it away from the base this part was captivating because we see Kafka morphing jet-like thrusters on his calves to increase speed and power. This made me wonder what else could he make with his body. The bomb detonates, causing widespread destruction. Despite being in the air, we see fragments of Kafka's kaiju form shattered amidst the wreckage. Kafka uses his energy to make a shield, but he still receives damage. As the smoke clears, Kafka lands, exhausted, but determined to protect his comrades with his shield. Captain Ashido appears, her expression unreadable. Shockingly, she orders Kafka's arrest. This just showcases her determination and resolve to follow her duties. And the episode ends on this cliffhanger, leaving us desperate for answers in the next episode. 
And that's our review slash recap of Kaiju number eight, episode 10, Secrets Revealed. This was the secret revealed. And it was. And that's our review slash recap of Kaiju number eight, episode 10, Secrets Revealed. This was a secret revealed. And it was revealed at the end. I totally thought a secret was going to be revealed. Eek in the middle of the episode no it was towards the end and uh, most of it was covering hoshino fighting kaiju number 10 and incorporating shinomiya and hoshinia's backstory so i was like that's it like i felt wanting more what did you guys think about this episode what did you guys think about this review slash recap let me know what you guys thought in the description below and if you liked it don't forget to give this a like and if you want to see more subscribe ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload other than that we also host podcasts across worlds hawaii's number one podcast for anime and manga we interview people in the anime industry so if you're interested in that link to the podcast will be in the description and my name is lehua and this is a super Fina channel doing a review slash recap on kaiju number eight episode 10 hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one ahui ho